Hey, how are we doing? Right, today, quick little vid. We are going to um, be replacing this old bus here, old JVC. Um, yeah, take. <laughs> it just shows you how old she is. She's got a tape player in it, but CD changer control. Who remembers them? CD changers. Oh, a lot of the younger folk won't have the pleasure, will, will have never known the pleasure of um, upgrading the stereo system. You know, because um, a lot of, well, most new cars um, for a long time now, and even tractors isn't that, they've got um, um, sort of built in audio systems rather than a single din system like uh, like that um which is so easy to upgrade so what i've gone for is i normally go for sony because i do like sony gear we've got a dsx a510 bd cost me 60 70 quid and um you know the main thing it's got is bluetooth so you can take calls over the over the radio and listen to stuff off my phone all that sort of stuff so and it's dab as well so um yeah, I mean, I love Sony stuff, and this will do the job nicely. So we're going to smash that in. I've also um, got some, um, uh, what are these, five inch? No. Are they five inch? Four, four and a quarter inch. Or five and a quarter inch. I forget what the hell now. Does it tell us? 13, yeah, five and a quarter inch, 13 centimetre speakers. Sony's again. 35 watt RMS. Um, so, yeah, we're going to spunk them in as well. Um, the speakers that are in it are alright, but you know, we need a bit of bass, don't we? A bit of bass. This is all for the younger generation, I reckon, because most older folks will have done this. Um, basically, there's a little tab to either side, halfway up, and um, use these little flat keys to <coughs> to um, trip them so that it releases the mechanism. That's the idea, anyway, but of course, I haven't got specific JVC ones. Me that we got it. A bit of luck. We've got some ISO connectors here. We've got radio. That was the aerial. We'll just flick back in. And we've got two ISO connectors. One does the speakers, which is this one. And this one looks after the power, ignition, that sort of thing. Just like that. All right, let's open this puppy up. Let's see what we got. Probably come a bit of a surprise to most of you. Um, got the adapter cable. That's the main thing. Take it from the ISOs, the ISO connectors to the, you know, the specific connector in the back of the Sony. Um, couple of keys. Load of rubbish there, load of crap. Um, yeah, it might come as a bit of a surprise that I am a bit of a nutter really when it comes to um, sound systems. I've always had decent sound systems. Well, more so when I was younger, I should think. Basically, got all these little cutouts here, all the way around. And what they do is you bend them out, and then that grips. The uh, the frame, it, uh, the yeah, the fascia there, and holds the cage in position. And obviously, the cage is held in position. The radio is held in position. Poke that like that, and then that's gripped behind the fascia. Do the same the other side. And um, that shouldn't go anywhere. And it will look nice and tidy as well. You don't need to do all of them, just enough just to hold it in. Yeah, so that system I had in the old Land Rover, that was... That really was super loud. That was a good system. It's something to remember, when you get a DAB radio, you don't tend to get a DAB aerial with them as well. Of course, I've not got DAB aerial, so... Um, 
we're not going to connect the DAB up, but we have got still got the standard analog um, um, connection for you know analog radio. Which, to be fair, the signal around here is pretty good. So, I mean, if I want to install DAB aerial later on, that's no bother. So, analog aerial goes in there. Uh, we want the, uh, the adapter, where have I put that? This is the adapter for to convert it from the ISOs to, um, to the Sony. They all come like that for some reason. Don't, don't ask me why. I suppose it's so you got smaller, you got a smaller plug on the back of the, on the back of the stereo. These can only go in one way. One of the clips is in the centre. One of them is offset to the top. So there you go. You do sometimes have to swap your your power and your ignition over. Um, one powers the radio all the time for the memory, and the other one sort of switches it on and off uh, for. Um, uh, with the ignition so plug that in right ignition hey Fonzie <laughs> we lit up we are lit up all right source DAB yep tuner yeah we've got plenty of static USB We've got an auxiliary, we've got BT audio, which is what we're after. Um, just before I put this in, let's cover up what else we've got on the back. You've got um, some phono connections in and out. Oh, I don't know what the black ones are, but you've got a left and right speaker there for like um, um, putting a sub in, something like that. Um, that is, um, it should be the remote, oh, hold on, no. The blue uh, could be different now. Could be different. That is possibly the the on and off for the if you have a sub, you connect it into that and um, turn the sub on and off. It used to be a little blue wire, but it got blue and a white. I mean, it might still be that one. I'm not sure, but um, I'm not going to be putting a sub in here anyway. Put it, <laughs> put it that way. All right, so we can tackle that back in there. squeeze in there you go that's clicked in um, now we want the fascia which is not that one must have you see that one so the little fascia just goes around and um, clicking probably not happy that the um, It's identical. I should just click on. There we go. She's in. She's in. So that looks nice and decent now. The cage is hidden. Jobs are good. And that is installed. Let's whip these speakers out. Right, so what have we got here? It's a Eurotech. Eurotech. Eurotech list. Hence UK. Four ohms. Don't tell me what wattage, wattage it is. Cheeky little speaker. Something tells me I've got the wrong size of speakers. <laughs> we'll soon find out. I reckon I've ordered the right. I, I did measure them. I did, honestly, I did measure them. We'll soon find out. See what we got in here. Gonna look wicked, in it? Look at that. They do look funky. That is a sweet, funky looking um, cover, isn't it? Decent looking um, speaker. Right, so I've cocked up massively. I've ordered too big a speaker. <laughs> As you can see. But I'll see if I can make them fit. They're both the same sort of design, um, coaxials, 
So that means basically you've got the, your main speaker there, but in the middle you've got um, another little speaker. So um, the outside one does the more bassy type um, sound waves, inner one does your trebles. A bit of jiggly pokery, that'll fit. That will. Bit of jiggly pokery. Right, the speakers are in. And considering they were too big, really, for what uh, what was there, they fitted in a treat. Didn't take hardly any modification at all. Anyway, so let us see if we can um, get this puppy working. So I've got to pair it. First job is going to the menu, demo. Demos are normally on, so turn that off. Clock. Hang up. What oh, DAB? Yep, we're not on that. Click. Oh, it's clock. You can do it. Um, I'm with you now. Um, it can run the clock off of the DAB, but it seems we haven't got DAB at the minute. Um, we need to do that. And time is new time for tea. Seventeen oh nine. Ten. There we go. Uh, general display Bluetooth. That's what we want. Set pairing. Yes. Device one. Yes. A lot of these can now do um, uh, run two phones at a time. So on my phone, uh, it's just come up. DSX A five ten B D. Click on that. That should pair. Yep, allow all access to your contents and cool history and all that. So she is active. And we're up there now. So we need to now obviously test this system, don't we? Now, I'd normally play some music, but I'm not going to play some music, am I? Because, um, I'll get our copyright. So let's just shut the doors. See what we can find that sounds good, shall we? Let's see what we got. Well, I found something you'll like. This is just pure Cummins music. So let's listen, shall we? See what she sounds like. Crank it up. Such an awesome sound, awesome sound. <laughs> if you've not watched this video, go back and watch it because it just it's just just such an awesome sound, really is. Well, there's another good bit, let me get to the other good bit. the video.
way for it. Here we go. definitely say that's a good test of this stereo system um yeah and uh, also the hands free calling now play all the songs on my phone um jobs are good and what's what's not more to like um so yeah that is how you install uh, a stereo in a tractor these days um and like i say go and check that video out again um because that does sound bloody awesome JCB Carting Barrels, awesome engine sound. So, there we go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little vid. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Ta-ta!